Yo guys, it's MG Raza, and today I'm going to show you how I made this awesome t-shirt. All of the software that I'm using today is absolutely free, so anyone can do this, guys. You can buy this t-shirt by visiting my profile if you want to support the channel and spread the MG Raza name throughout Roblox. Even if you don't want to buy it, drop it a favorite so more people can see it in the store. Anyway, moving on, how did I make this t-shirt? First, you are going to want to click Create. Then you're going to have to go to Shirts. And then on here, click don't know how, click here. Then on this screen, it tells you everything you need to know. We will have to download this later on, but for now, I'm gonna show you how to get the image you want into to be the right size. So we need the 128 by 128 for the large square at the front. First, find the image that you want to put on your t-shirt, then right click it, then click edit with paint 3D, then click canvas on the top row. Here is where you type in the 128 pixels. At this stage you want to keep the lock aspect ratio and resize images and canvas both ticked. So it resizes the image to the size you want it. Don't worry if it looks a little fuzzy. Then you are going to untick both of the boxes, the lock aspect ratio and resize image, and then type in 128 into the height. This is then going to put your image in the middle of the picture and make it so it's the correct size. Then you can click menu in the top left and then save it for later. This is where you're going to want to download GIMP. It is free software so you can just type it into Google and you should be able to find it. We are using this so we can delete the white background and turn it into a transparent background. Click file and then open your image. Here you are going to want to click on tools, selection tools and then by color select. Once you've got that selected, you want to click on the background you want to delete. So in this case, it is all the white background. You can change the threshold here. I have set it to 110 because that gets rid of the most whiteness without losing any of the blue. You need to come down to the layer section down at the bottom here in the bottom right corner. You need to right click the image and then you need to make sure you add the alpha channel. Once you've done that, delete it again and it should remove your white background. Play around with the threshold to see what works best for you. It may delete some of your blue the higher the threshold. Then you should just be able to press delete on your keyboard and it should remove the white background. Now you are going to want to go back to the Roblox website and download that image I said earlier. Once you have saved it, then you can open it up in GIMP. Now we are going to find the image we want to use so we can use that as the texture or the colouring of our t-shirt. So I'm just going to find a grey t-shirt online, use the snipping tool which is free on any Windows PC, just type it in on your search bar, then save the image. Here I am going to show you how to save it as a pattern. I'm using a pink t-shirt here as I've already used the grey one. First we're going to click file and open up the image we saved with the snipping tool earlier. Once that's open, all you have to do is click File and then Export As and then change it from a PNG to a PAT for the pattern. And then all you're going to do is click Export. For me, this overwrites here because I already have something saved as that pattern. Then just click Export again and that should be saved as a pattern now. But now you need to make sure it's in the correct place. So we're going to go over to the Patterns and click the File Directory so it shows us where all the patterns are saved. Then on there we're going to copy and paste our pattern into that list. You can just click and drag that across like that. And then just minimize them and then you're going to refresh the patterns and then your image should appear there like so. Once that is done we are ready for the next stage. For this part of the video I use the rectangle select tool. I use this tool as I find it the easiest to delete the colors and the front and up and down and the text on the template. All you're doing here is selecting everything and then pressing delete. I'll speed up this process so you don't have to worry about watching it. Next you want to select the fill tool and within that fill tool you want to click pattern fill and then you want to select your pattern that you made earlier. For this video I use the fill by line art detection. It does go over the lines but it doesn't matter because when it gets imported into Roblox as the template these lines aren't even used. 
Then if you want short sleeves like my t-shirt, you want to cut off the right arm and the left arm so you just have the top of the sleeve like this. Make sure when you delete it, it is transparent or else you will have a color there. If you cannot see your rectangle tool up here, you will have to come to Tools, Selection Tools, and then Rectangle Select. Then you're going to select the part of the arm that you want to darken for our t-shirt, like this. Then you're going to come to Colors, and then Hue Saturation. Then you're going to change the lightness to a darker, to a darker color. You can mess around with this to see how it works and see which kind of colors you want to go for. But for this video, we're gonna darken our sleeves like this. Now to create the neckline, you have to go and use the circle select tool. So as before, you'd have to go to tools, selection tools, and circle selection tool. I have got the correct coordinates for you here. They should be position 265 by 32 pixels. And then for the size, it should be 60 by 60 in pixels as well. If you imported the picture exactly the same as me, these coordinates should give you the exact same neckline as what my t-shirt has. Then you want to go back to where you got your original picture that you want on the front of your t-shirt. And then you want to use the rectangle selection tool and you want to select it and then copy it and then come back to this page and paste it on and position it where you want on the t-shirt. Then you want to go to File, Export, and then save that file as a PNG. Then we've done everything we need to do. So we want to go back to the Roblox screen, click Create, then go back to Shirts, and then you want to upload that file that you've saved. I have saved my shirts here. You can then use these same templates to make other shirts that you want. So the same background color, but with different pictures on the front quite easily. So all I'm going to do is click here, open, and then click upload, and then it should come down here, and then that should be it done. T-shirt made, congratulations, you are a proud owner of a new gray looking tee. Something else that should be considered is you need to have premium to be able to make shirts. Thanks for watching guys. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you are still struggling with something or want to see how to make something else, please leave a comment in the section below.